All right, welcome back everybody to the second video in a series where I re-simmed from 1984 to 2021, and I kind of gave a brief overview tour around the league in the last video and then asked for your questions. So in this video, I'm going to go through the questions that you all left on the comments of the last video uh, and hopefully hit them all. I'm going to start with, and I'm not going to pop them, I know I could be all fancy and pop up the questions on the screen here for you to see them. I'm just going to read them out loud and go through them. Uh, first, I'm going to start with Drew's question. Uh, he wanted to know about the 2013 and 15 Indians. Uh, and why am I starting with Drew's question? Because he's a patron of mine. So I'm going to start it. You can figure out how to become a patron in the comments of this, or in the description of this video. So, Drew, I am happy to show you this. Let's see what goes on What goes on here in 2013 and 15. Did they win the World Series those years, I'm assuming? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm sure I covered that in the last video, but I have like three different like long-term sims I'm kind of like playing around in right now, <laughs> and I haven't visited this one since the last time I recorded. So uh, I'm like confusing sims in some, uh, in some respects right now. I didn't want registers. I wanted the positional starters. So let's see. Uh... So 2013, they had Francisco Cervelli as their catcher. Um, let's go ahead and get to the batting sets I'm used to. All right, so Cervelli was the catcher. He's there for a while. Uh, Belt was the first baseman in 13 and 15. And looks like he was a pretty good first baseman for them. Dustin Pedroia was their second baseman in both years. Um, he's no longer with them. Uh, but Pedroia looks like he was drafted by Cleveland and then stayed with them through his age 34 season and was a really good player for them for a long time. Uh, Arenado was their third baseman for both Sims. Did they, they drafted him first round 18th overall in 2012. He's now at the Orioles. What kind of seasons did he have? Uh, I mean, he, yeah, he had a couple incredible seasons, a couple down seasons. Uh, and then we had Troy Tulowitzki was their shortstop. That's fun. Both years he was there, but he was not their starter uh, in 2015. Brett Gardner was the left fielder for 2013 and 15. Ellsbury in left and then, or I'm sorry, in center. And then Jack Peterson in center. I do not know who this guy is. Matt Merton. So he got over 5,000 plate appearances. In real life, he got over 1,000. Oh, okay, he was a Cubs player in the mid 2000s. Had a couple, had one season looks like as a full timer. But, you know, 113 career WRC plus, not a terrible showing, just a very short showing. I legit do not remember this guy at all. Uh, and then, so Merton was 2013, and then 2015 was Aaron Hicks, who's still there. Um, 26th overall in the 2012 draft. So then in 2015, uh, Michael Michael Barrett was their catcher. It's, who was he with? Mon okay, I wanted to say Expos. I associate this guy with the Expos. I vaguely remember him. But it looks like he was good with the Cubs. Uh, and then Brandon Belt, Pedroia, Arenado. And then their shortstop was Everth, Everth Cabrera, right? It's Everth, right? Um, who, I re yeah, I, as an O's fan, do not remember his 105 plate appearances with him. I remember as a Padre. Uh, so he was your sharding, start, sharding, <laughs> sharding shortstop, <laughs> starting shortstop in 2015. Uh that was a great slip there. And then Gardner, Peterson, Hicks, all the same. So uh, Jack Peterson, he spent like one year with y'all, it looks like. Oh, no, he spent a bunch of years. Just that was the only year. He must have been a DH maybe. Wow, Jack had a pretty good career. Well, pretty good, you know, what, six, seven-year run with the Indians. He was a draft pick of there. So there's your there's your um, team, Drew. There you, there's your uh, Cleveland championship teams for 2013 and 2015. Uh, next, I'd like to draw attention to a great uh, observation by Mr. Senor, who pointed out that John Smoltz uh, may have won uh, nine Cy Youngs in a row. Now, he didn't win nine. I hate to break it to you guys. He won eight in a row, uh, which is just insane. Let's see. Let's get down here. So his run starts in 1990. And then he won, wins eight in, a throw, eight in a row through 98. And then he won again in 2003. I mean, did he win a couple MVPs too? Yeah, he also won the MVP two of those years. So just an insane career here from John Smoltz with his 129.9 war. 
4,430 Ks, a 2.91 ERA, an ERA plus of 141, a 2.79 FIP, which is a FIP minus of 68. Yeah, thank you for catching that. Eight in a row and nine total Cy Youngs with two MVPs. Crazy. Uh, so let's see some more questions here. Um, all right, I'm just reading down. So Vitsky wants to know about uh, who the Twins had on their team in the 2010s and then uh, some other Twins guys. So let's go to the Twins, Minnesota Twins. Ba -bum. So let's see who their like, main dudes were oh drew i didn't show you the pictures hold on sorry sorry everybody my clear offense bias here is showing um let me show you who your pitchers were in 2013 and 2015 so 2013 is that jordan zimmerman yeah so jordan zimmerman jake arietta uh wei in chen so a couple orioles legends here <laughs> josh tomlin was there and what Delgado is this? Randall Delgado. Uh, yeah, I remember this guy now. Diamondbacks? Yeah, that rings a bell, I think. <laughs> uh, and then in 2015, you had Arietta Chen, Delgado, Tomlin, Zimmerman. Uh, looks like bullpen was similar, but you had Drew Smile as your closer there. And then what Werner is this? Andrew Werner? Dude pitched 40 innings of real-life ball. What did he pitch here? 592. Nice. Okay, so that's your pitching staff. Sorry about that, Drew. I, I, I um, did not forget about that. Or I did forget about that, but glad I remembered to go back. So let's see what happened with the Twins of like the 2010-ish era here. The 2010, see if they had any standouts. Uh, so Grandal is still the catcher and has been since 2014. Uh, looks like first base, there was a lot of turnover until uh, Scooter Jeanette came in. Uh, a lot of turnover at a uh, second here and then wait did i get mixed up where i am i wish the bar came down <laughs> like i wish this was pinned at the top and came down so i could like didn't lose my place uh all right so third base they had uh beltre for a while here adrian beltre but then uh ty wigington and juan francisco the home run hitting legend and outfield looks a little more steady here uh oh i'm sorry i'm still at short i'm at shortstop uh melvin upton <laughs> And then Brandon Crawford, where your shortstops. Is this Bryce Harper? Bryce Harper out in the outfield for the Twins, and he's still there. He was drafted by them in 2011 and has been a good player. Uh, career OPS plus of 127, 278 home runs. He's only 28, so uh, no MVPs. Uh, looks like Fowler came along and was the center fielder for a while, and then Lorenzo Cain. And then Harper switched to right field. So Harper's played left and right. That's interesting. Uh, so Vitsky also wanted to know about Joe Maurer. Let's put in his full name so I don't get stuck with every Maurer. Um, so Joe Maurer looks like he played in Texas. Then he bounced around. Uh, he ended up with a whole 15.7 career war and an OPS plus of 90. His career OPS plus was 120 with 44.4 war. So, yeah. He uh, is someone who did not work out as well here in um, in this sim as he did in real life. He would pr prefer real life to this alternate universe, I would say. Uh, Justin Morneau is another guy you want to know about. Uh, 102 WRC+, plus, only 11.9 war. This has to be well below. Yeah, 32.5 with a 116 OPS+, plus, uh, for Morneau. And you also want to know if Jason Kubel or Kubel ever made the majors uh yes put with arizona most of his career and michael kadire i think he's probably the only kadire right yeah did he make the majors yes he did he played with cleveland for a while so there you go vitsky um let's see old redneck gaming network wants to know about johnny cueto of course we can loop you in on johnny here so johnny cueto played his entire career did he, like, bounce around? Okay, yeah, he pitched in the minors. So he played his entire major league career with Seattle and was out of the majors by 2016, then bounced around the minors until 2021. So it's wild that, yeah, I mean, he kind of had a 
couple down seasons in a row here. Uh, I mean, his ERA, his ERA plus was 93, and his fit minus was 103. So he was a below average pitcher um, for his career. Uh, but did you know what it looks like he he threw a lot of innings and wasn't terrible so it looks like he you know maybe uh at his peak he was like a really you know decent number two starter for this one season maybe but looks like more like a, a back of the rotation type of guy um two-ish war average major league starter who just threw some innings uh all right and then you want to know about johnny or no that's johnny quitty you want to know about joey vado too so he is with the Marlins of Miami, who signed him in 2019. Oh, he's won some MVPs. So he won 20, 2008 and 2012. And, he, he, oh, he came up with Cincinnati. Look at that. So he was drafted by the Reds first overall in 2006. And was that his real draft year, I assume? I mean, I'm assuming it was, right? Um, I'm pulling up the results. I'm sure you guys know this. Um, so, I don't know. He wasn't wasn't drafted in the first round. I don't know when he was drafted. I won't waste any more of your time, but I'm sure you guys will let me know. But that would have been funny if he was drafted uh, the same year by the Reds. So the Reds drafted first overall. They drafted uh, Votto, and then he was a complete monster for them. He won two MVPs, and he went to Baltimore, and now he's in Miami. He's age 36 season. He put up 6.4 war, a 170 OPS plus, and hit 43 bombs. He's at 460 home runs, uh, which I figured he'd be higher than that with how productive he's been. Um, but So he might get to 500. And 71.9 war. He's driven in 1486. He's almost a 2,500 hit. So he's got a shot at 2,500 hits and 500 home runs. But he's going to have to play another couple seasons to get those home runs unless he just pops off another 40 home run season randomly uh let's see so nick wants to know how ozzy smith turned out that's a good question i'm not sure so ozzy so we picked up here in 1984 and he went to montreal immediately and so how did he get to montreal he was a free agent and he signed a seven year 5.7 million dollar deal with the expos and he was really good for them the first year. And then after that, looks like he was hurt slash bad. And yeah, he ended with, um, I think his real life OPS plus of, or yeah, OPS plus of 66 in 507 plate appearances. He's probably like hit lead off for him too, or some nonsense like that in 1981. Uh, so yeah, so pretty, I mean, he had his best offensive season um, here in 1985 when he joined Montreal. So you also wanted to know, Nick also wanted to know about the 2017 Cardinals. So they won it all that year, is what Nick tells me. Um, and let's see. So in their lineup, they had Omar Navarro, or oh, Deonor Navarro, not Omar Navarro, right? Uh, they had, Is this Prince Fielder? Prince Fielder. Uh, Devon Travis. Chris Johnson. Is this guy like bounced around the... Yeah, okay. I kind of remember that guy. I th Wait, no, this guy was with the Yankees, right? No, this is his fake profile. Wasn't this guy, like, with the Yankees and stuff? Okay, nope. Thinking of an entirely different guy. Uh, I don't remember that guy. Um, all right, Chris Johnson. Oh, we've got Cabrera back on another World Series team. Maybe he's the secret. Is this Corey Dickerson? Yeah, Corey Dickerson, Mike Trout, center field legend for the St. Louis Cardinals. And then uh, Jeremy Hermida. Hermita. Um, cool. Okay. So that's your, those are your hitters. I keep forgetting to show the pitchers, don't I, on these teams? <laughs> uh, all right. So 2017, let's see. What Anderson? Brett Anderson was the number one starter. Is he like, yeah, he's made four all star teams. Okay. Uh, Brett Anderson, is this Justin Verlander? Absolutely it is. Uh, did not have nearly as good of a career with just 40. 4.4 war he had after 2020 hit 73.5 in real life oh tyler skaggs uh i'm surprised they still have him in the game that they can't take him out uh all right brian mattis orioles legend in real life 
looks like he turned out much better in real life, or in this than they did in real life. 39.8 war, real life. He topped out at 3.5 for his career. Ah, yes, Brian Mattis. Every year was going to be his year coming up as an Oriole. Uh, Dan Straley, and then what? Oh, Cody Allen. So that's those are your 2017 Cardinals, Nick. Uh, Kevin, ex- excellent question. Rick and Keel. What's up with him? Is he a two-way player? Uh, so he definitely pitched. Yes, it looks like he was a two-way player, but was a really bad hitter. So, well, I mean, he only got, he got 1,300 plate appearances. Oh, he was a full-time player this year, this one year for the Yankees. But he put up negative 1.9 war as a hitter, a nice 69 OPS plus. I mean, a 210 average at the 278 on base. Uh, so he, for some reason, continued to be given at bats, but he was bad. Uh, pitching was a bit better. Uh, he had a bunch of strikeouts, but then he really fell off at the end of his career. But he put up 26.5 war in 2,294 innings. Um, ERA plus was 97. Fit minus was 104, so slightly below average pitcher, uh, but did rack up almost 2,500 strikeouts. Uh, main Texas looks like is who he came up with, and he, his best season was his rookie season. So there's your Rick Ankeel uh, update. That's a that's a good uh, good good question. I like that uh, that Rick Ankeel question. All right, Randy Johnson Stronghold wants to know about Randy Johnson because he didn't come up in my last video. And yeah, I don't know. Oh no, he was a beast. He was awesome. He was with Boston, who drafted him second overall in 1987. He did not win any Cy Youngs though. Um, led the league in war once, led the league in strikeouts a bunch, uh, led the league in fit minus once, but he made a bunch of all-star teams, looks like six all-star teams, um, ended up with a nice 69.2 war, 64.9 R war, uh, ERA plus a 118, fit minus of 81, uh, strikeouts was 28.35, he really fell off at the end of his career with strikeouts, you can see his K's per nine went way down here towards the end, um, and also at the beginning, we're, we're fairly down, so He's retired. Did he make the? He did not make the Hall of Fame. He oh, and his he's really fallen off. He got up to thirty three point two percent of the vote in two thousand eleven. Is now fallen off. So, uh, Randy Johnson uh, was okay. He was okay. And all right, let me see what other questions do we have. Uh, so Cole, I think you want to see the Angels. Some of what went on with them. Um, and I was like looking for the Anaheim Angels because I was thinking back to that time period or the California Angels even. Uh, so let's see, when did they win it? Let's look at one of their teams. So 2001 and two, let's look at their 2001 and two team. See who was awesome for them then. 2001, so Mike Piazza behind the dish so he was with uh, the California Angels and then the Anaheim Angels and then the LA Angels. <laughs> uh, and he was really good. He had a good career. 70.4 war, 65.8 in real life. So pretty similar outcome uh, war-wise for Piazza. So there's your catcher, Jeff Bagwell at first base. Really good career from him. 70.9 war. 92.3 in real life, so not quite as good in t- according to war. Oh, and then we have uh, Frank Catalanato here. Sure. Whoa, look at the season he had. He had a 6.1 more season. He never did that in real life, did he? No, his high was 3.8. Okay, so there's Catalanato. And then we've got Greg Jeffries. This guy was like a brewer, right? Wasn't he? No, not at all. <laughs> Complete wrong dude who I'm thinking of. Some of these, you know, just off the cuff uh, guesses that I'm going with here that are kind of brutal, huh? Greg Jeffries. Okay. So Matt, he came up with the Mets. All right. I don't know why I was pitch- picturing him with the Brewers. I'm not quite sure who I'm confusing him with at this moment, but goodness gracious, he was good, man. 104.6 war. What did he have in real life? 31. Yeah, that'll play. Um, OPS plus a 120, 325 home runs. RBIs are at 1550. Wow. All right. And let's see, where are we here? So we got Gary Sheffield. Sure. 
Sheffield put up a two, 10.3 and a 10.5 worst season. I want to check something real quick. Something just dinged on my computer like it's not recording. That would be frustrating. Oh, hey, we're recording still. Cool. There's my OBS, guys. <laughs> uh, Pat Burrell was the left fielder. Sorry, that, that was really distracting. I got like a ding like it had just started recording. And I was like, man, that sucks if I just lost the last 20 minutes. Quentin McCracken was your center fielder in 2001. And then Bernie Williams came in. And then your right fielder was Jose Guillen. Oh, yeah, this guy. This guy. I remember him. Uh, and then let's see. Who were your pitchers in that time period? 2001 and two. Which Hamilton is this? Oh, Joey Hamilton. Yeah, okay. So Joey Hamilton won a Cy Young in 2002. Uh, for Anaheim. Okay, cool. Random. Uh, Jared Washburn. Dave Coggin is not a name I remember at all. Real life. Okay, so he pitched 618 innings. So, yeah, he was around. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was his uh, fake stats. His real stats, he only pitched three seasons for the Phillies. Okay. I don't feel as bad not knowing, not knowing about him, not remembering him. Is this Jack McDowell? Oh, heck yeah, it's Jack McDowell. And uh, Joel Pinero. Pin, Pinero. Uh, Toby Borland was your closer. Paul Quantrill, father of Cal probably, right? Uh, he was in the bullpen. Uh, so let's see. Britt wants to know what the Mariners did. So let's just take a gander here at what the Mariners did. So... They made the postseason. They didn't make the postseason in '95, and then they made it in '99, and they made it in 2005, and then they made it in 2019. So only four postseason appearances and no World Series. Uh, and Britt, the beginning of his comment said, "It's crazy that a lot of these Sims, the Mariners, never seem to make noise." I would say that this also happened. <laughs> that also happened in this Sim. They weren't very good. Uh, do they have like, like who are their what? Yeah. So they had Luke Roy. We'll get back to him because somebody asked about him. Uh, Miguel Sano was there. Yeah, a lot. not a lot of continuity through some of these positions. Like a lot of kind of turnover. Oh, they had crime dog Fred McGriff for a while. Which Lombardo? Steve Lombardozzi? Is that Danny Tartable? Yeah, Danny Tartable was there. That's awesome as a shortstop. Spike Owen. Shout out. Pete Inconvillia. Yep, yep. Uh... Oh, O to B McDowell. Yes. What Henderson says? Dave Henderson, former A's legend. Phil Bradley. Um, so that's, oh, Brocious was there. Is this Frank Thomas? So they went, hold on, their first base went from Fred McGriff for like seven or eight seasons to Frank Thomas for three. So how did Frank Thomas turn out? Oh, he ended up with the White Sox for a really long time. He had 564 home runs. He drove in almost 2,000 runs. He had over 3,000 hits and 82 war. How many? How much war did he put up in real life? 85.2. So really similar, actually. 520 home runs and 2468 in real life. And here he put up, where do you go? 3246 and 564. So just a pretty, really similar outcome for Frank. And he made the Hall of Fame his first season. So that's your Mariners update, Britt. Hope that... Uh, or I guess I should show pitchers. Again, my anti-pitching bias is just coming through here that I keep forgetting. Uh, I mean, there's no pitcher here. Well, Mark Langston was around for a while. Um, let's see, who else? Stoddard. Bob Stoddard was around for a couple of years. Which Jones is this? Jimmy Jones. Uh, looks like Stanton. Is that Mike Stanton? Yeah, Mike Stanton was your closer for a while. Bill Pulsifer, is that his name? Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. I remember this random guy who <laughs> never threw more than 126 innings in a game. I don't know why I remember Bill Pulsifer uh, randomly. Amazing the little things that stick in your memory. Uh, all right, Britt. Well, yeah, there there you go. Um, let's see. So just seeing which. Oh, so Garcia Parra. So Swamper wants to know uh, about Garcia Parra. Let's see if I can spell his name right on my first try. Did I get it? Oh, because I, I hit a, I didn't hit the P. Oh, I didn't spell it right. 
Nomar Gar. Let's do that. What did I spell wrong? Gar? See, that's how I thought I spelled it. Nah, I forgot a letter somewhere. Anyway, so Nomar Garcia Parr was drafted first overall by the Twins in 1995. He was up at age 22 and 96 and had a really good career. He ended up then going to Montreal for a season, then the Nats, spent a couple seasons. Oh, spent a lot of his later career in Baltimore. Um, so it looks like OPS plus wise, his best days were in Minnesota. It's also where he put up the most war, but he ended up with 78.6 war. Uh, an average of 285, a 328 uh, OBP, a 111 OPS plus. His real life OPS plus was uh, 125 with 39.7 war. Uh, John wanted to know if I played with real calc or just random development. I went random development. I thought that was more fun. Uh, Andrew wanted to know about John Lucroy, who I mentioned earlier I knew. And actually in the patron video, somebody asked about John Lucroy too. Um, so this is the second time he's gotten a shot on this video. And he had an excellent career. He put up 117 WRC plus 46.9 war. He went yard 165 times. Uh, hits, he was at 16, 68, 290 average, 345 on base, 449 slugging. So, uh, and he's still playing, actually. He's still playing in Seattle. They drafted him fourth overall in 2009. Uh, so there's your, uh, there's your uh, update on your high school baseball teammate, Andrew. So Caleb wants to know if I can look some at uh, – at the Rockies and look at Mike Trout, Todd Helton, and Troy Tulowitzki. I think I might have looked at some of them through this, but um, all right. So Rockies info, history, positional starters. So it's like you had uh, Tom Wilson as your catcher for a little while, I guess before he joined the Washington Capitals. Matt Weeders was your catcher for a while. You had first base. Connor Jackson was your first baseman for a good long time. Connor Jackson, of course, the legend who uh, spent the bulk of his major league career with Arizona. Um, so Connor Jackson was there for a while. Which Alomar is this? Roberto Alomar spent time there. Brett Barbary. Which Palmer is this? Dean Palmer. Oh, well, wow. Edwin Encarnacion played a ton with with you. Uh, 472 home runs. How many of those... 353 with Colorado. Uh, shortstop looks like a cluster. You finally got some stability here with uh, Cattell Marte. You had J.J. Hardy, too. Uh, left field, Jose Canseco was there for a little bit. Same with Pete Incavilla. Uh, and now, Ioannis Cesp Cespedes has been your left fielder for several seasons. Center field, uh, Rich Becker uh, played quite a bit in Colorado from 2002 to 2008. And he was fine. He had some a couple of really good seasons. I mean, this 5.1 war and a 4.9 war, 4.5. Yeah, he had, he had some very good seasons as their center fielder. Uh, Delino DeShields Jr. is there now. Is this Milton Bradley? Yeah, Milton Bradley. 70.1 war. Real life put up 21.4. And he, oh, he finished just shy of 300 home runs with 299. And if he, if he had played another season, he would have gotten 300 home runs and 2,500 hits. Um, so let's check out the pitchers real quick. Let's see. Anybody? So Rush was here for a – oops, clicked on the wrong guy. Uh, so Glendon Rush was here for a while. Did he win a Cy Young while in – no, he didn't win it in Colorado. He went and won it in Oakland where at age 38 he pitched 264 innings and put up a 1.98 ERA. Seven war, 12.3 R war. That is crazy. That's, a, that's well, yeah. That, is this Andy Bennis was here too? Yep. Is this Bobby Witt, uh, the father of Junior? Which Guzman is this? Up? Oh, Johnny Guzman. Uh, which Wood is? Kerry Wood was there. How would Kerry Wood's career turn out? So he pitched most of it in Colorado. And he struck a bunch of dudes out and then trailed off around the age of 29 and was just bad after that. Uh, so Caleb also wanted to know, did I not do Mike Trout in the last video? A couple of people asked about him, so I didn't do it, but I thought I did. Uh, so he was drafted first, first overall by the Cardinals in 2010. And yeah, he's just a monster. He's won six MVPs. Uh, look at this war. I mean, 99.8 <laughs> war and he's only 20. He just turned 30 
just turned 30. He's at 326 home runs, 1850 hits. Uh, he's got a career slash, slash line of 304, 417, 534. I mean, this is just a crazy career from Mike Trout. Uh, Caleb also wanted to know about Todd Helton. Todd, the Todd Father Helton. He's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, made it his second eligible year. Spent the bulk of his career with Minnesota, then went to Kansas City. He hit 341 home runs. Uh, bat, career 307 average. He led the league in average five different times. Led it on base three times, slugging once. Uh, looks like he only eclipsed uh, 40 home runs once. Other than that, 34. After yeah, And then his power kind of really trailed off later in his career. And then you want me to pull up Troy to Lewitsky. Let's see. So Troy was, looks like he, well, okay. So Troy to Lewitsky put up a career negative 2.2 war with an OPS plus of 41. He was terrible. For reference, real life Troy to Lewitsky put up 37.7 war and a 119 OPS plus. And really without injuries, um, around what age 30, I guess 30 ish, but he had a couple seasons cut short by injury and then really just was not the same guy after like the age of 30. Uh, so yeah, anyways, he was awful. He managed to be on three world series teams though. The Rockies ran him out for 548 plate appearances in which he put up negative 0.4 war and a 44 OPS plus Cleveland did the similar, a similar thing in 2013 a year in which i think they won the world series right um or was that a different team i can't remember somebody won it in 2013 that we looked at so yeah that's crazy how bad he was uh cole says this sim is literally 1984 i'm not sure what you mean but um yeah okay and alexi wanted me to look at the cubs and then and then we're out of here so let's check out the cubs Cubs currently have Austin Meadows and Noah Syndergaard on their team. So let's see, let's get down to 84. So they did not make the postseason for a really long time. So they made two postseasons, 2010 and 2020. They did not win a World Series. So still very cursed. Man, they were bad. So Benito Santiago was your catcher for a while. Remember this guy, Matt Noakes, the catcher? He was, what, a Tigers guy, I think, for a while? Yeah, Matt Noakes, Tigers, and then Yankees. That's a random guy I had not thought of in a long time. Uh, looks like he had Ernie Riles. Ryan Sandberg, of course, was there when we started the sim and remained there for a while. Uh, so, yeah, here are... Is this Fernando Tatis, the senior? Yep. Pat Mears. Stan Javier was in the outfield for you for a while. Which Felix is this? Oh, Junior Felix. He was a real-life Cub, right? He was with them at some point, wasn't he? No, was never there. I made that up. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of Felix Paillet. Uh Oh, I think I missed one up here. Um, Kevin, I think you had a question about Cal Ripken that I skipped over. Oh, okay. Yeah, you asked, did Cal Ripken leave uh, via free agency or trade, which is, I don't remember. So Cal left for Montreal. It looks like it was a trade during the 92 season 1992 he was traded by the Orioles to the Expos for this guy Darren Lewis who was like doing nothing but was very young uh so yeah were the O's just bad in 92 let's look at that and they like were like we need to get this young center fielder of the future and he didn't work out so in 1992 the O's yeah, they, they only won 61 games. Oh, they were in a really bad, bad spot here. So I guess they were, that was part of the rebuild. They traded Cal. So anyways, that's the end of this one. Uh, thanks for all those questions. That was a lot of fun. I will be doing more videos like this with other Sims, uh, including the Young Guns one with the Super Team that I did a live video on. But I'll do more like these uh, as we wait for Out of the Park 23 and find ways to... Uh, entertain ourselves before we all have the new game to play with but i like doing these sims these kind of alternate universe things and i appreciate all you guys leaving the comments and uh asking the questions and uh yeah catch you next time